Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 42 of Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 3 Blue Version. Brought to you by Game81.com. Now the only place I think I could look that has a lot of boulders will be over here at the hot springs. So why don't we get over to this side and look over here. There's actually a little crack. You can see an elevator inside the boulder. Yes, I want to get in. Looks like we found the servers. I think the internet servers will be found at a hotel. So, this is the internet server? Well, it's dark color, so that would assume yes. This server is huge! I've never seen anything like it! Bearer of rank number two, Jack in. Uh, who said that? Jack in. Well, we didn't come all this way for nothing. Are you ready, Mega Man? Ready and willing. That's what she said. Jack in, Mega Man. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Proceed. Lan, I'm going in. What's this? What does this giant hole lead to? You have done well to make it this far. My name is Serenade. I reign over all the ranked navvies. Serenade! I am Mega Man! I've come on behalf of the officials to get the forbidden program. Someone is trying to awaken Alpha! Unfortunately, the forbidden program cannot be given. Only a chosen one may wield the program. A chosen one? But if I don't get it, then that society will perish! Are you prepared to take the test to see if you are the chosen? If so, reach out and take the program in front of you. It is the one which you seek. It is the forbidden program. Oh, it's so pretty. It wasn't so dark. This is the forbidden program? Now then, take it. If it flares up with blue flame, you are a chosen one and can wield the program. However, if you are not chosen, you will immediately suffer the effect of the program. You, Mega Man, will be frozen for all eternity. No power will ever be able to awaken you. Now then, grasp the program, discover your destiny. Mega Man! Lan! Ah! Mega Man! Mega Man! So he is frozen. No! Mega Man! Hmm? Lan! I did it! I can use the program! What were you thinking, pulling a stunt like that? Excellent. The program is yours to wield, Mega Man. Ah, now we got Giga Freeze. Alright, Mega Man! Mission completed! Not yet, Lan. We still have to take this program to the officials. Oh yeah. Alright, let's check out. Roger. So there is another Navi who can wield Dr. Hikari's program. Another? I knew it wouldn't take you long to reach Serenade. Who's there? I am the administrator of the Undernet. Wait, sick boy! Mamoru! You're the administrator of the Undernet? You? Actually, the creator of the Undernet was a Scilab scientist. That scientist is my father. What? Your father? A Scilab scientist created the Undernet? So you mean it was a Scilab project? I've never heard of anything like that before. The Undernet is a weapon to counter Alpha. Created to develop and preserve the Forbidden Program. But if Scylab made the internet, why is it so dangerous now? Because the Forbidden Program was too dangerous. It has the power to freeze Alpha, which means if misused, <coughs> all of Net Society could be frozen in an instant. It has that much power? Yes. That is why they created a vast area away from the regular Net. If an accident were to occur, the damage would be contained. Since it was so isolated, it turned out to be a perfect hiding place for criminals. 
Tell me, Mamoru. If so many measures had to be taken against Alpha, what exactly is he? The ultimate beast. And a creation of Scilab, of course. Scilab? Emergency alert. The Tetra Gate has been destroyed. No! It's Alpha! Quick, Lin! Hurry to Scilab 1! Someone's stealing Alpha! Got it! Mega Man, let's get over to Scilab 1! Roger! About the same time, in Scilab 1... Drill Mode! Activate Tetra Codes! Alpha is mine! Right now those four gates around Scilab 1 are gone. This is the end of the Net Society. An intruder is stealing Alpha! Official scum. You're too late. Drill mode! Ha! You just created a hole somewhere else. Alpha has been stolen. The Net Society is doomed. Uh, hang on a minute. I just gotta let the puppy out of her kennel. Just let me take a moment. Okay, I made it to Side Lab 1 where you find those four gates anyway. The culprit escaped through a hole he drilled in space. Please, you got to chase him down and get Alpha. Okay. I also made one simple change to my folder. Wasn't exactly a chip, but what I decided to be my select chip. Now that I have enough memory, I can put Fast Gauge as my select chip, which is good. That's what I was ideally looking for. Can I see the drill man in Undernet 5? Now the thing is, it's a little bit of a trek to get there. And surprisingly, they put an HP memory behind that ramp. But first, I'm actually going to go to Undernet 6. Just to do some looking around. Cause I mean, why not, right? Let's see, is this spot I need to go to to find something? Cause I remember there was an item available. Okay, Demon Eye and Viner. This could be a bit of an issue. So when I hit repair, and then I'll use Desert Man with a bit of attack power. This should take care of all the poison on my side. And these killer eyes can do some damage. They try to detect where you are. And when you're locked in, they're going to use this flamethrower. Until they no longer exist, then it's no longer an issue. Uh, Air Sword with a bit of an attack power should do. Or not. Maybe just a little bit more. But it was close enough, I guess. I do remember there was an item you can pick up. Yeah, there it is. And it's a sub-mem. That's the final one. Alright. Let's see what this mystery dead is. 800 cents. That's good. Now, from remember, there actually is a boss you can battle here. The Flame Man Alpha. I'm trying to remember if this was the exact spot. Get the lance, get the lance, get the lance. Wow, I only took one damage, technically. Or maybe it's somewhere in Undernet 5 where you battle Flame Man Alpha. Couldn't be, because that's where I battle Plant Man Alpha. Alright, well, I guess I can find Flame Man at another time. I got what I came for, which was another, like, select or sub memory actually so I might as well just like head on back and do what needs to be done oh you stupid metar 3 go down now gotcha and with that we got a totem 2 E and one bug frag I guess I should just head back. Flame Man Alpha can be dealt with at another time. Can I do anything over here? 
Oh uh, no, I need Flame Man Beta defeated to get through that security cube. Wait a minute, there's a salesman here. Okay, so bring in the bug frags and I can get these kind of programs. I might as well buy Buster Max. I don't want to buy Rush because that's for versus only. And I don't need to worry about like a regular memory or HP that much. So I will buy the Speed 1 and that's going to be it. Okay, this kind of set up again. I'm not worried about that actually. Hmm, yeah, I think that's gonna be a good idea. I do have to take out this killer eye somehow, so why not now better than later? I got you before you can try to shoot me! I still don't like that sand. Huh, for some reason the slasher didn't work. Because that's vines over there, not the virus. If a virus is on my side, slasher would work. But that's not the case here, is it? What? The drills couldn't even hit the vine? It was right there! I don't get it! That makes no sense! How did the first drill over there on the top row miss? Oy, it doesn't really matter now. What does matter is I do have to take care of some business here. Luckily on this side of the internet I don't have to worry about random battles. Unless I find them in the programs. Which I hope I never do. Okay, so now I gotta find the path that leads to Drill Man. I believe I gotta go down, like, through this way. This long path over here. Yeah, I'll go on through. Yeah, and if I was just, like, leaving from the undersquare on the other side, it would take me over this spot, I believe. So now I got that pathway unlocked. In case I want to make a little shortcut to Undernet 5, I can do so through the square. Oh, that data was a virus. Okay, we just got these three. Shouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> really no big deal at all. So, I mean, that brush man's gonna go in one hit. And I say desert man will take out the other two. Awesome. That saves me some valuable time and I get a holy panel R. Holy panels are actually pretty awesome. They have your damage. Okay, first let me use a mini energy. And then I'm gonna save. Because now it's boss time. Wait, wait, actually before I do, I almost forgot. I'm gonna go in through here. Now, Break Charge is actually a good program to use, but since I don't really have a lot of room, and I don't really have the error code with me beforehand, I'm just gonna forego it. Instead, I'm just going to go with a different program, or a different code. Instead of the sneak run one, because it's going to be useless, how about K-T-E-I-U-E-2? That's a 2, right? Yep, D. Alright, so now I got super armor put on. That way, whenever I get hit, when I'm about to use a chip or charge up my buster, I won't lose the charge. <coughs> Hand over Alpha! Mega Man! Heh <laughs> So I ran into you before awakening Alpha. This must be my lucky day. Now I can pay you back for what you've done! What I've done? Yes! I'm gonna drill a hole right through you! You'll pay for what you did to my cousin Bubble Man! Here he comes! Mega Man, battle routine, set! Execute! I'm gonna drill you into a pile of dust! Wait, Bubble Man and Drill Man are cousins? That to me makes zero sense, I mean, think about it! How would they even embrace? 
Now, the thing about Drill Man is he's a total pain in the ass because when he's in this mode, he hides behind a drill that is impenetrable. But I can hit him from behind or on the sides. I just had to pick the right spot. Okay, Drill Man's in one of these holes. Probably the bottom one. Oh, he got away. Alright, an air sword will definitely hit him. Unfortunately, left me wide open, too. So yeah, if I did have the uh, break charge, I can actually penetrate that defense. But I don't really have that luxury, now do I? I'm not going to be using those M cannons, so just put them in add. Okay, folder back will come in handy if need be. Desert Man can hit through the drills, which is good. I never seem to find the right holes in time. Don't take that the wrong way, guys. It's like every time you try to hit one, a drill pops out. And you can't do anything about it. Alright, folder back is actually going to be very valuable. But I'm not going to use it yet. Let's see if I can actually get him with a bar sword. Nope, that actually never worked, even that that close. Very unusual, to say the least. Whoa. I saw what was coming. I know that attack. Who do you think's been spamming it for quite some time? Okay, now he's almost on the ropes. I just need to do a little bit more damage. I'm gonna need to heal, too. Not to mention, repair my tiles. I gotta get that sand and those holes out of the way. Now he's gonna move a little bit faster. Gotta make sure that I'm focused. Wow, I think I picked the worst possible timing for that. Wait, did I actually hit him? Huh. That was weird. I didn't think I was supposed to. Okay, Drill Man will definitely do something. Maybe do two hits, if I'm lucky. Oh, this is my chance. No way, he's gonna be frozen. That's right. Alright, so one more move will definitely do him in. You gotta think about what that move's gonna be. He's on that hole. Got him! He was in the hole in the middle. Awesome. Yeah. Lord Boyley! I have failed you! Arr! Bubble Man! I'm coming to you. Ah! I can't believe it's not butter. Ah! <laughs> so dramatic. Phew. If Wally had gotten his hands on Alpha. Yeah. We would have been goners. No, there's one N in goners land. Come on. Let's take Alpha back to Scilab. Right. Ugh! I know this sensation. I've got a bad feeling. Hurry, Mega Man! Get Alpha! I cannot allow you to have Alpha! No! He's got Alpha! Lan! Let's use you know what! You mean the Forbidden Program? Yes. It's our only chance! Okay. This had better work! Right. Giga Freeze! Did we get him? I guess not. Can't be! He caught it in one hand? Why doesn't he freeze? Don't tell me he's a chosen one too! You can use the Giga Freeze? Hmm. That means you... Uh, this is getting interesting. I will let you live for now. Farewell. 
Uh, thanks, but you didn't give us back Alpha. The forbidden program didn't work. Alpha's been stolen. We've got to do something or our net society is done for. Right. First, let's go report this to Chad. <laughs> we did it, base! Alpha is mine at last! How I have dreamed of this day. The end of the Net Society is finally at hand! Gather to me once more, my World 3 operators! <laughs> well, at least it gives our health back. Where am I? Is this... the cyber world? Why am I in that cyber world? Lan! Is that you, Mega Man? Mega Man! What am I doing in the cyber world? I called you, Lan. You did? But why? To say goodbye. I'm sorry to leave you, but I must go. The years that we spent together are priceless to me, Lan. Goodbye... What do you mean? I'm glad to have been able to see you this one last time. Thank you, Lan. Mega Man, wait! Why? Wait, Hub, don't go! Why can't I move? Hub! Ah! Hub! Lan! Lan! Was that... a dream? You look like you had an awful dream. Are you okay? Yeah. It was just a nightmare. You sure you're okay? Well, if you say so. What's that going on outside? I noticed that too. So I checked on the internet. The army marched in this morning. We're under martial law. Are they preparing for an attack by Alpha? Yeah, I guess. The army showing up like this can mean only one thing. The situation has gotten very dangerous. Wow! None of this would have happened if I had gotten Alpha. I've got to do something. Well, the army is here, and I'm sure officials are too. Best thing for us to do now is just get to school. Yeah, I guess so. Anyways, I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next episode, we're going to try to go to school, even with the army around. Goodbye, everybody.